What's going on you guys? Uh, this is a 2005 Suzuki LTA 50 wheel and this is the original tire so it's almost 15 years old and uh, it's getting kind of dry rotted around even though the tread is fine because this thing has really not been used much but the, you know the wall of the tread is getting dry rotted and cracked so I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out and while I've got the tires off I'm gonna paint the rims also but as you probably know when you've got an older set like this breaking the bead is sometimes challenging and if you want to do it yourself here's what I've done I already did the other wheels with no problem but uh, you know take you some spray like maybe some simple green or some kind of lubricant you know spray around the edge right here that may help it come loose a little bit and then make sure you put some really thick padding underneath it I've got like an old uh, floor mat for a truck right there an old pad of some sort because the rim itself would be touching the ground on the other side you don't want to scratch or damage the other side of the rim anyway and make sure you take all the air out of the tire of course take the valve core out of the stem right there and here's what we're going to do we're just going to drive our car right up along the edge right here you know make sure you be careful of course but uh, it should break it right loose so check this out it actually works quite well you'll have to two foot the brake and accelerator you know one foot on each basically I have to have the door open a little bit and just be careful and roll her right up on there and watch what happens take your time and just run up on there and there it comes Turn the wheel a little bit to get a lot of pressure around it. Come on, baby. You have to just sit up on it, you know, with the weight of the car. Ease your way up on there. If it doesn't come loose the first time up, you know, you may have to back up and try it again, but I can see it's trying to come loose down there. Up. And sometimes you know, all you can do is just try another spot. So just turn the rim and try it again. And then of course I'll have to flip it to the other side. I've noticed that the other side is sometimes more difficult after you've done one side. So it just takes a little time basically. But it works. And you know, you know how much it costs if you take these in to a shop to have the tires removed. So save yourself some money. Do it yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Anywho. Check out our other videos. We've always got stuff going on. Uh, you know, ATVs, dirt bikes, Harley Davidsons, Mustangs. Ford Tauruses, Chevy trucks, all kinds of stuff. We're always up to something. So check us out. We hope to see you soon. Subscribe, like, follow, blah, blah, blah. See y'all.